Hello, everyone, and welcome to an episode of Think About It. I'm your host, Dan Martin. With me taking a shower is Eva the Deer. Um, today is a real simple, easy, quick one. Uh, we're talking about liquids, gas, and solids, the different state of materials. Something I, something I just realized lately, um, even though I took uh, almost six years of physics classes to become an engineer, um, I didn't really realize this. Think about it. Yeah, welcome back, think about it. So, the state of uh, materials, gas, liquid, solid, there, there is no state, there's no, it's all one state. Even liquids are solids, and even gases are solids. If you really think about it, a liquid is just a solid in a very viscous, um, flowing form, but it's still solid. The molecules are, haven't changed, they're still solid. A gas is the same thing. It's still a solid um, that's just more separated. The, more, the molecules are very separated. Once those molecules change, um, then that material stops being that material. Um, for example, if you take water and create steam with it, um, it's still H2O. The molecule is still H2O. It's just very separated. If you take water and separate the hydrogen molecules from the oxygen molecules, it stops being water. Uh, it starts being what we call brown gas, um, if you keep it together. Or it's, it's just oxygen and hydrogen molecules. Um, so yeah, something that kind of, um, I just kind of realized lately that there's no such thing as gas or liquid. Uh, it's all solid. It's just different, different, uh, well, I guess different states of solid. It's just how the solid is moving around. Think about it. Again, as always, do not believe anything you're told. Think for yourself, question everything, and stop setting enslavement. See you next time. Hit the subscription like button below if you like what we're doing. See you next time.